Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 tips and tricks for your camera at the Samsung Galaxy M32. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is you can quick launch the camera. Very nice with the power button. If you double press the power button, you immediately add the camera without wasting time with looking for the camera app and so on. And the pretty, pretty cool thing is also if your phone is on standby, you don't have to unlock the phone first and so on. No, you just double tap the power button and you are immediately at the camera without missing your great picture. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is you can also use the volume up key to take pictures with. So if you press the volume up key, you can take a picture without pressing the shutter button uh, and so on. And that makes it also useful to um, work like uh, in previous uh, version of uh, uh, basic cams and so on that you uh, don't use the screen so you just use the button here to take the pictures so and by the way you can use this also for videos you also if you tap the uh, volume up button you can start the video and you can stop the video with the volume up button as well and by the way um, if you go back here to the photos, did you know that the pictures you're shooting with the rear cam here is just with 12 MPs? So yeah, you have a 64 MP camera, but you can just shoot photos here in the basic settings with 12 MPs. So let me show you how we can change that. If you go here to the point 3 to 4, no? to the point 3 to 4, then you have here at the very first point, point 3 to 4, 64 MP. Have you seen that? Let me go back here, 3 to 4. And if I tap now here, I have now the full resolution of 64 MP. The only disadvantage is I cannot really zoom, so I can't zoom. So I can't zoom here at a 64 resolution and I have to hold my hand very steady to have a good picture. So the best is to go back to the default settings with the basic 3 to 4 um, because then the pictures become more smooth and so on. I would recommend to you that you shoot the pictures just with 12 MPs. Okay, the next tool I want to show you now, so we will need the front camera for, um, because you can make selfies uh, without touching the shutter button. So if you hold your palm like this, the screen will recognize it and it will make a selfie. Have you seen the countdown there? Let me show you one more time. Uh, put the hand like this. So many people will think that you greet someone. So put the hand like this. It is recognizing you and it will take a selfie by its own. A very nice feature. If Also, if you put your phone a bit far and you want to make a good picture with the selfie camera and so on, just put your hand like this and it will realize and take a picture of. Okay, now I want to show you a bit more about the cameras uh, because you have more than one as you can see. And let me show you how you can change these cameras. Um, so for that, we have help here from our little friend. And this is the main cam. We have learned we're shooting just 12 MPs with, but it's okay. And uh, if you're closer to a group, you cannot have everyone on the picture, maybe like my hand here. No? But if you go now, you're on the uh, many threes, then you will have uh, a better range and you can have more people on your pictures but this cam is not that strong it have only 8 MPs at all and the pictures are not so smooth and so on I would recommend to you to shoot basically pictures with the main cam so this one here in the middle and the other white cam use it only if you're too close to objects if you need a bit more range and so on and um, Something else what I want to show you is also if you're very close to some object, maybe something like two centimeters or five centimeters, you can see the camera cannot really focus anymore. Yeah? But there is a way uh, to use the macro cam for that. Go here on more and go here on the point macro. Then you install a macro cam and as you can see, the pictures become more clear here also if I'm very close to the object. But this camera have just two MPs, so the resolution is not that much. So let me show you it again. So this is the micro cam here. So 
And this is the basic cam and you cannot really focus here as you can see. Okay, we still need my friend here because uh, you can have also some filters here if you go here on the magic stick. So this is the original. No? It's the original, but you can now change the colors a bit of the uh, photo and um, yeah, to give them another scene. Uh, also, you can make it in black and white and so on. And uh, yeah, so there are very nice modes. And here below, you can change the intensity so that you have a bit color and so on. So you can have some cinematic effects and so on. And you can also use something like, oops, you can use also something like a beauty filter here. If you tap now on face, so let me go back to the original here to show it better. Then you can go here on face. And uh, okay, my friend will not be really recognized, but if I turn it on here, at this point here, turn on, then I have uh, the opportunity to change the smoothness a bit. Uh, I can make um, the jawline a bit smaller and so on. I can uh, change the eyes a bit. Okay, this is not a real face, but um, if you want to play there, you can do that. But let me tell you that you are beautiful like you are, so I think you don't need this. Yeah, and you can make also slow motion videos with that phone. So for that, just go here on the point more. And here we will have the point slow motion. Okay, then look for a nice scene. I will move my hand here. I hope you have a better scene. Okay, and stop the video. Okay, next to uh, the video button, you will have here the preview of your previous video. So tap on it. So this is the video I did here in my case. So as you can see, it first starts in uh, real time and then it has the slow motion part. Okay, uh, and if you go now on the pen here, you can edit also your video. And this is very nice because this, uh, this part here in the middle is the slow motion part and you can change it that you started it a bit earlier and so on. So uh, you can really change it. Oh, I received a message, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's another phone. Um, so uh, very nice. And apropos sound, you can also change the sound source here with the speaker because uh, if you have the video sound and if you recorded your video here in slow motion, then of course the sound could be a bit weird, but you can remove the sound or you can put some music on it as well. Um, so very nice features. After, if you're ready with you just go here on save and this video will be part of your gallery. Okay, for the next uh, thing I want to show you, I need my little friend here again because I want to show you the night mode because, uh, yeah, if it's darker, um, like in the night, then you have an opportunity to make the picture a bit more white, you know? So this is the basic picture and I show you now at first uh, how you can enable it. So we are now in the basic picture, but go here on more and then we will have here the night mode. You know? In our uh, case, we cannot see many now, uh, but I will show you it now if I'm removing here the light in my room. Rup, rup. So, I put a flashlight here on another phone. I think you have heard it already. Um, that it's not too dark because if it's very dark, then uh, the night mode have no chance here at this phone. But I want to a bit uh, show you a bit how we can brighten the screen. So as you can see, um, the screen is not that bright, but if I go now here on more and on the night mode, the picture becomes more bright. Uh, and uh, the details are, also the picture have also more details and so on. Uh. So and now if I'm taking a picture, I have to hold the phone very steady. And then I have my night picture. Okay, let me take also a picture with the main cam that we can compare it later as well, but I will remove the night mode. Okay, so let us compare it uh, then after I will on the light now. Oop. Oop. Okay, then let's, thank you so much. Then let's compare now these both pictures here at the gallery. So this is the one I have 
shoot it uh, without the night mode and this is the one I shoot with the night mode and you can see the differences, the pictures are more clear and so on. But as I said, if you have uh, no light, if it's very dark, um, the stars cannot really help you with their light. So, um, yeah, there are some other phones. Uh, this is a mid-range phone, yeah, a low budget mid-range phone. Um, and the premium phones with their cams can make that much better, but it is a nice tool. Yeah, the next thing I want to show you is about argumented reality. So let us have a look at yeah, the camera, of course. And if you go on more, we will have here the AR zone. But at first I want to show you the AR doodle. It's below here, it's also part of the AR zone later. Because if I'm going here on a selfie cam, no? Then uh, I have now my face here and I can now, uh, you can see that, I can now make something like a head like this and the head is moving with me as you can see. And the same thing also with a smile, I can make, you can give me a smile, the smile is also moving as you can see. You can also do that with the rear cam and uh, do some stuff with your friend and so on. And uh, yeah, let's go now to the AR zone because we have some more opportunities there. So if you go back now, you can go on the AR zone. Here's the AR doodle and here you can also make some deco pictures. Um, also same thing, you can have, you can put yourself some mask on uh, and you see all this uh, stuff here. Or if I go, as you can make also some stamps here that you say, okay, today is Friday um, the 12th of November or something else, awesome, best friend, and so on and so on. And as you can do some stuff here, and then you can take, then, then you can use here the shutter button, by the way, to take uh, a pictures, huh? uh, and you can take some pictures with, you know what I mean? And uh, you can try a bit, as, as you can see, there's many to see. And uh, also, if I go now here on the studio, I've created already an emoji, and you can create here on the AR Studio your own emoji. You take a selfie from you and then you, then you uh, uh, create a bit what, you, what, are, what are the closest ends on or give you another hairstyle and so on. And um, then you have your own emoji. I've chosen already an existing one. And uh, your emoji, in my case now, uh, our example here, you can make a call screen, you can create some lock screen, you can create videos here. Maybe let's create a lock screen here. Uh, like that, this, that there's someone dancing or something like this. No? And you can add also some sound sources there. You can give another background. And after you go just here on save and this will be part then of, uh, uh, we can use this then as lock screen. So there's uh, so many opportunities here. You can really um, try a bit. I think here's the best really to try it by your own because there's so many opportunities and you can't do something wrong with you. And uh, then also your, you can use also your emojis by the way. Um, as you, let us set it as a lock screen. Huh? Um, you can use it also uh, uh, maybe for WhatsApp, no? that you can have an emoji who's doing like this and so on. I think you have seen it already one day uh, at, at your friends. Um, so there are so many tools you can do it. And let's have a look now with the lock screen. There it is. So this is our lock screen now with our emoji. Or in your case, you can let dance your own if, I, if you take a selfie with and create your own emoji as i said so really check this out here the ar zone go on more go on ar zone and then you can create here in the ar emoji studio your own emoji okay let me show you also how you can use it in messages maybe so go on the message you can use it also with whatsapp and so on um, go here to create a message or send it to someone existing and um, yeah Wrote something here, no? and then if you go here on the three points, I don't know if you can see that here on the three points, you will have, I don't know, go here on the three points, and then you have this page here, and then there's a second page, and here we will have the 
AR emoji. And uh, now your emoji is in some scenes here. No? And you can send some stuff, maybe like uh, this uh, lovely scene here. And now you can send this here as an MMS to someone. Same also with WhatsApp and Telegram and so on. So as you can see, there are many nice tools with this feature. And yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and show you something nice here, what you can do with the camera because the phone have many opportunities. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me some thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and you have created also some other videos if you're interested in me, just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and yeah, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.